good day everyone we want to talk about woodwork machines yes in today's topic we want to talk about the woodwork machines now these woodwork machines are also called the portable power tools so you don't want to call it portable power tools you can also call it woodwork machines now what are woodwork machines now these are power tools used in woodwork to cut plane drill hole and shape items remember i told you these are power tools used in woodwork to cut plane drill hole and shape items so this is what portable power tools are which is also called woodwork machines now what are the examples of these power tools or the examples of some common woodwork machines now some of the common woodwork machines are the bandsaw, surface planner, thicknesser, circular saw, and drill press. Examples of woodwork machines are bandsaw, surface planner, thicknesser, circular saw, and drill press. Now let's look at bandsaw. Now bandsaw is a machine used to cut curves or straight lines. We use it to cut curves or straight lines on wood. So that's what bandsaw is. So one thing good about the bandsaw is that it relieves the woodworkers of the burden of slicing the wood or timber manually. It relieves the woodworker of sliding the wood manually. So that burden of, I mean, slicing this timber or wood manually, that is the only thing the portable power tools does for us. So these woodwork machines, it means that the burden of trying to slice, you know, when you start slicing this to get this perfect circle, you might make mistakes as a woman. But once you use these machines, it will give you a perfect cyclic shape of this nature. So that's exactly what portable power tools are used for. Now to do this, we have to go to the workshop and see how we can get this shape. But before we move down to the workshop, we have to take the dimensions. Now, what I mean by dimension, you have to use a digital caliper of this, of this kind. Then, measure the diameter of what you want to cut. Now, when you measure the diameter, then you also take the internal, internal diameter. So you can do that by taking the internal diameter by slotting this into the. Um, in, insert this inside this and then take the dimension you can take that dimension from this place so after taking the measurement you now can go to the workshop but what are we trying to design it is not just ordinary cyclic object like this this is for a purpose and what do we use this what do we want to design i want to design a metering device what is a metering device a metering device is made up of food groups into which seeds fall from the hop, bottomless hopper. Now, look, this I want to design what to call the rice planter. This is a rice planter, a prototype of the rice planter. You can see once you cover this and then pour in rice from this, this, this is what's called a hopper. I just designed, I just decided to design this prototype. Once you pour in rice or any grain through this point, it flows through this point and gets into this uh, metric device. The metric device has a groove. You can see the grooves here, where the rice or grain drops. And once the thing drops, as it continues to rotate, it will not drop at your plant. So that's exactly the reason of constructing this uh, metric device. So these are the principle of uh, operation, how it works, how this works. So for you to do this perfectly, you need to cut out the metering device in, in a perfect circle. If you don't have a perfect circle, using the manual method, this thing might not rotate to give you what you want. So the only way out is to cut out this wood into perfect circle. And the only way you can get this is to go to use the portable power tools or the woodworking machine. So we're going to go into the workshop and see how this thing is being cut out. Using the plastic, this plastic is not suitable. Once it comes to green, it's almost the same, it's the same size, but I'm not going to use this because it's plastic. I prefer using wood. That's exactly what you need in this uh, 
machine that we call the rice planter. So this is a metering device. Look at the grooves where the seeds drop, and as it rotates, it drops to this uh, upper. So this is a prototype of exactly what we want to do. So let's go to the workshop and see how to cut out this uh, metering device. So before you get down there, you make sure you put up some safety uh, devices. So you know what we mean by safety devices is that you are going to use some safety devices like example some of the safety devices like the hand glove you have to use the eye glasses the goggle you're also going to use the not only that you're going to use the apron and some of the distance so the some of the safety devices or safety precautions we have to take before going to this workshop is one you must ensure that you wear the appropriate safety wears what I mean by appropriate safety wears are the safety devices. What are safety devices? They are devices used to protect the delicate parts of the body. The delicate parts of the body are the eyes, the hands, the foot, and all the parts of your body that are very sensitive. So you need to protect them. So in order to protect them, you have to wear the appropriate safety wears. Example like the gloves, the protective glasses, noise protection, ear muff and apron. So these are some of the things we have to ensure. We call it the band saw safety precautions. Some of the workshop behaviors. Now round one is that we have to stay at a safe distance. If something goes wrong, you won't risk being injured by flying woods. Of course you know that. So one shouldn't risk being injured by flying woods because of uh, not putting on the protective glasses so you need to wear up those glasses you're going to see where i'm wearing mine working the workshop also not only that we have to unplug the machines because remember i told you there are two stages one we are going to cut out this in a cyclic form and our one is to smoothen it to make sure the thing is very very smooth as this so that this thing can rotate very well in the machine so there are stages so as you move on from one stage to another you need to unplug the machines after use so you don't allow the machine to be on while you're working in the other one no it's not a good one so another one is that you have to avoid improper fitting of the saw blade the saw blade that is going to cut here avoid it avoid improper fitting of the saw blade so the last and not the least is that you have to you have to inspect the blade condition that is make sure that the blades are securely fastened and and not to damage any way so do not allow the blade to be properly some people don't fix it very well if you don't fix the blade very well you might likely expose yourself to accidents so that's it and do not allow it to injure or damage injure you or maybe damage the object you are using so when it's not properly fitted you are going to be exposed to such accident so these are some of the safety precautions we have to ensure as we get down into the workshop so see you there right there in the workshop. As we get down there, please don't fail to touch your YouTube subscribe. Subscribe to have other access to other videos. Subscribe in order to access other videos in design and construction in technology. So try and subscribe so that you can have access to other videos on this design and construction in technology. See you there in the workshop.
this excursion I hope you are all super excited and I believe you must have learned a lot as you can see we successfully designed caught shaped this wood into this cyclic object called metric device so this is where we call it a day but before we draw the curtain today don't forget to go to that YouTube that your YouTube touch and subscribe so that you can have access to other videos on design and construction on this technology. So that's where we call it a day for today. Till when next we meet, stay safe and Fred Asibe. See you. Bye. <laughs>